Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the channel. It is so nice to see you all again. It's been only a few days since I've uploaded, but it's been a few weeks since I filmed anything. And about, actually right now, right there, you can see some beautiful Mount Edna action, which means, of course, I am in Sicily. Buongiorno. I uh, want to do a little update. I'm, I'm, um, I'm actually on a little, a little, a little vacation. As you do, I've got a week off from work, and so I, I looked on a map to see where the warmest places in Europe were. Uh, I found the Canary Islands, Valencia, here, like Malta and stuff. Uh, but there was a super duper cheap flight here as well as cheap accommodation. So I'm like, you know what, if I don't have a week off, I might as well go find a place I can run naked. And so here we are. In terms of my running, well, obviously I'm at a track right now. So there's good news and bad news. Uh, since last video, I'm actually running a bit worse. My running stuff is like my mechanics and everything have been fine. Except a few days ago, I was in um, I was in Chamonix at the Mont Blanc, as you do. 1 a.m. and we've arrived. I went snowboarding. And it's been a few, let's go over here. It's a helicopter pad. It's kind of nifty. Let's go right. So I was in Chamonix and I was snowboarding. It's actually been a few years since I've been snowboarding. So I fell a lot. One of the falls, I was like snowboarding and you know, and, he fell, and I fell like, like this, like into the ground. And so I like, I cracked, I cracked one of my ribs. And I know I cracked it because I've, I've done this before while running. And it doesn't feel very, it does not feel very good. I'm still able to run, just not fast. And it is extraordinarily painful. Basically, so Jake, what does it feel like to run with a cracked rib? <sighs> Basically, kind of what it feels like if you're running with a cracked rib. So you can do like little shallow breaths pretty easily. <sighs> That's okay. But if I ever go right here at the very top of the breath, it honestly feels to, honest to God, like a knife is just right at the boop, 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 right in there. So yesterday I ran on the soft sand on the rocks. Soft pebbles. Which was, which was great training for the stabilizers and stuff. Not enjoyable for the knife side, the knife pokey pokey bit in my side. Thing is that I couldn't find a why Jake, why would you run there? I can't, I thought I thought there'd be more trails. I'm like I'm next to a volcano. And I thought there'd be like forests and trails and stuff, or at least the path, the roads leading up to the volcano would be all soft and squishy, but it's like, honestly, it's all paved roads. Um, I did find paths, but they're like 10K away. So I think on Saturday, I'm gonna do a look of super duper long round. I'm gonna get a bike and go out there. And I'm just gonna try to like hoof it on up there. Hopefully by Saturday, today's Wednesday. Hopefully in a few days, my ribs are better. So I wanted to make this video to, to obviously a little running status update, uh, talk about uh, talk about an old saying, an old phrase we had when I was in the military, rolling with punches. So yesterday I went running and it was not enjoyable. And I did do a little bit in the middle of the run. A four mile soft sand, soft rock run. It's it's not enjoyable. Probably made worse by the fact that I for sure bruised and or cracked my rib right here. Snowboarding a few days ago. As I fell. Uh, I'm running slow, 10 minute miles. Ten, slow for me at least. 10 minute miles. Why am I doing this? Only soft surface I could find for miles. But two, uh, training on this stuff is actually good for your stabilizers. Ankles, knees, hips, all the movement and stuff. While it totally sucks, it's it does have its benefits. Obviously, when you transfer it to running on flat surfaces, it, um, it kind of keeps, it'll kind of hopefully balance everything out. That's the idea. So I can't even describe what it feels like. Actually, I can't describe what it feels like to run with a 
cracked in our bruised rib. Basically like someone has a little knife right here. And every time you take a full breath, just at the point where you're like almost a full lung of air, it goes a little, little stabby stab. I could not run, but God damn it, it's my vacation. I came here specifically so I could run naked and I'm gonna do it. So there you go. Also, not really much you can do for a bruised and or cracked rib. Um, it's nothing just mobilized. I don't have any like any kind of crazy stuff. It just hurts a lot. In two weeks, it'll feel better. Hopefully in a week, it'll feel better. I seen it like crazy, but it's already, already been three days since, so I can't really do anything about it. I just can't really do anything more. Anyways, just wanted to check in. I don't even know if I'm going to post this or if it's just for myself or what, but... And I'm sure you can tell from those few seconds, I was not in a very good mental state, not happy, not really positive. Um, but I did kind of turn it around a little bit, um, somewhere along the way. Post this, or if it's just for myself or what, but reminds, reminds me of a long, long time ago. I was going through a special training and we did many runs on the sand to our doom with impossible tasks in the middle, enduring, and running with rucksacks, and thought you were going to die, and then you decide to keep going. Because if you didn't keep going, then punishment was equivalent to death. You can always do more than you think you can. I know I can keep running for 20 miles right now with my lung how it is, or my ribs how, it, how they are. I'm not, I'm not going to, but I could. It's kind of a cool thought in a way. Anyways, I will see everybody later. Greetings from Sicily, where uh, this is the best running I can find so far. Next time, uh, tomorrow or the next day I'm going up, there's a volcano over there. There's a volcano. I'll try going up there. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think we all come across our roadblocks and our problems and our challenges uh, in life. And they're always kind of some, almost always at this, the, just the wrong time. And it's really easy to kind of feel like the world's coming down on you, like the world's attacking you, like uh, you're the victim of some kind of horrible, negative, fortuitous event. And I think that we all have the ability, but also the responsibility to control our reactions in a positive way. So here's my situation. I'm on vacation, I have a cracked rib. Uh, there's no soft surfaces to run on it. Every time I take a step on my running vacation, it feels like someone's stabbing me in the side. Let me say that again. This is my working vacation. Even if I wanted to work, I couldn't because my work is shut for a week. I came here exclusively to run a lot, to run naked and run on soft surfaces. I can only do one of those things. I could sit at home and bitch and whine and not run and be really pissed off um, and this and that and the other, but you know what? I chose yesterday at the end of my run, after stopping quite a few times, um, and I'm choosing today, and I'm choosing all throughout this week to focus on the reality, which is, the reality which is that I'm, I'm quite fortunate to be able to be here running naked on January 29th in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, next to this beautiful volcano here, uh, without any work or care in the world. And I can just wake up and run and eat food and go to bed. And that's, that's really, it's, it's fantastic. And that's what I'm going to focus on. And my, my gut there for my winter gut. This, this ain't going away for a few months. It's keeping me warm. And so that's kind of my little message for today. You know, sometimes life throws roadblocks. Sometimes life throws little punches. And so you have to kind of learn to roll with punches and think about the positive. What's the positive aspect? What's the positive angle? And I've said this before in other videos, but you know, if, if you, what you have, you can have, what you can control in a situation is your reaction to it. So if you have a negative situation, that's one bad. And if you decide to have a, a negative reaction to it, right? Are you getting angry or upset or stressed? That's a second bad situation, right? So if you already have one bad situation, why not make the second one a positive? So always look for the positives kind of going on there. Yesterday, my run, it was very hard uh, and I was running much slower than 
my my normal speed is running like 10 minute miles which is slow for me and not and then i was also in physical pain but then also you know the, the positive is, is i'm getting great training for my my hips and my ankles and my knees my hips I already said hips soft sand training that i could not get in paris which will translate great for fast land or sorry for for flat land kind of uh, running economy and strength and stabilization right the second is i am able to run at all i mean what if i hurt myself so bad that i couldn't even move this week that would completely suck being stuck in some airbnb in some country with no friends anywhere that would totally blow right and then the third one is i'm totally naked and getting all this amazing sunlight and vitamin d awesome which is honestly like getting vitamin d in the middle of the winter is like so great and you know that's that's pretty cool uh my, my ribs will be fine in a few weeks uh like three weeks or something and then that'll be the end of it you know so you know even people you see on youtube are, are not infallible uh we all go through life we all go through ups and downs and woes and trials and tribulations and uh, i just wanted to share a little bit of mine and show you also the video which showed you exactly how the, the mental stress i was going through at the at that moment you know because i obviously wasn't as composed as I am now delivering this to you. And so I want to show you guys something real, something raw, but then show you um, how we can kind of, how you can look on it and kind of, and how you can be a bit reflective. And hopefully in the moment you can do it. And so by the end of actually that specific run, um, I went from thinking that, oh my God, I can't do this anymore, to thinking, you know what, Jake, blah, if you really wanted to, you could run another, another two miles or another six miles in the soft sand uh if you really really wanted to even though this is like close to impossible i know i can keep running for 20 miles right now with my lung how it is or my ribs how it how they are i'm not i'm not going to but i could and i was actually thinking about doing it i was just about to finish like oh, i'm gonna do another two miles oh it's gonna be awesome and then at the end i was like no i'm good i'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a nice easy jog home but it was it was that kind of mental shift you know i went from being down on myself and negative and upset and uh, this is painful, this is terrible, I don't want to continue doing this, this place sucks to run in, etc. Blah, 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 to thinking, this is awesome, this is great training, I can't get this anywhere else, this soft sand, I'm getting a tan, this is great, and you know what, I'm going to keep going with it, because I can do it, and I can do anything that I put my mind to. Reflective thoughts, monitoring your, your current mental state, and this is kind of something I work with on Dr. Bob, who I talked about in this video, where you recognize the mental thoughts you're having, from then you can go back to the present. So the key takeaway with all of this is, uh, whenever you're in a situation and the situation happens to be negative, try to monitor your mental thoughts and try to find the positive aspect from it. If it starts to rain or snow or it's dark or whatever and it sucks to go running or biking or swimming or whatever, think about the positive aspects. Hey, my other competitors are may, may be home, maybe at home sleeping or I'm getting better at running in the rain, which totally happens in races, or I'm getting better um, running when it's cold or when it's dark. So I just wanted to share this today, something um, short and sweet, but also real and genuine and from the heart. Yeah, I hope everyone out there is having a lovely, lovely day, a lovely January. Super thankful to be here in this sunny, beautiful place in Sicily. Hopefully I can share more real, authentic, genuine content with you guys. And hopefully you guys can apply it going forwards. All right, I'll talk to you later. Have a lovely day and buongiorno, ciao, ciao bella from Sicily.